Okay, a couple things before we start today's lesson. Um, I don't always wear the same shirt. I made two videos in one day. And the second thing, if you are going to remember one or two things for grade 11, this is one of them. If you go and ask the grade 11s how important this is in grade 11, um, they will tell you you cannot start a ton of questions in grade 11 until you understand today's lesson. So the first uh, our learning intentions will be to expand binomials. And binomial, if you remember, polynomials is a, a bunch of terms. Um, binomial, bi means two, so a binomial has two terms in it. An x is one term, the two is the other. And we're going to expand by multiplying two binomials. And maybe you've seen this before, uh, a lot of teachers will refer to this as FOIL. And I'll explain FOIL when we get to some examples. The second thing today is we're going to learn how to factor polynomials in this form. The key is there's an x squared, an x, and then a number. Whenever you see an x squared, an x, and a number, c stands for constant in this case because it's not a variable, it's not changing. Today's method is so important if you see something like this. The a, the b, and c just represent they could be numbers, but today a is always going to be 1. So it's going to be 1x squared plus some amount of x's plus some other number. If you want to take a look at some examples in the book, um, starting around page 162, 163, you can look through there. The book will show you some examples that I'm not going to show you today. Same stuff, just different numbers. Okay, so our first learning intention was how to expand two binomials. A binomial, again, has two terms, term one, term two, term one, two, two, term two, and how to expand them or multiply. When you have brackets up against each other, it means multiply. So the, there's going to be two methods here. Um, and we'll also learn some algebra tile methods. So there's a third method. But for today's lesson, which is again on page 160, anything with algebra tiles, we're going to do some activities in class. Okay. So the box method. There are two terms here, an x and a plus 2. So I'm going to put an x and a 2. x plus 3, I put an x and a 3. And the box method, we just have to make sure that each of these multiply each of the top. And then we're going to collect. So x times x is x squared. x times 3, representing this box, okay, x and 3, is 3x. This box down here, x times 2, 2x. And our last box, 2 times 3 is 6. And all we need to do is collect anything that's the same. So remember, though, when we're collecting squareds, x's are different than regular x's. So let's look at our squareds first. We have 1x squared. We have a few x's. We have a 3x and a 2x. So we have a total of 5x's. And we have this number, 6. So the expanded form of the binomial x plus 2 times x plus 3 is x squared plus 5x plus 6. So that's method one. The next method, uh, which is more common, is FOIL. And FOIL is um, an acronym where it stands for F is first, O is outside, I is inside, L is last. Okay, So I'm going to multiply, or let's write out our question first here, x plus 2 times x plus 3. What I have is first. The f first. Okay, Notice it spells FOIL. F-O-I-L. So first means the first bracket, or the first part, times the first part of the second bracket. So the first times the first of each bracket, x times x is x squared. O stands for the outside pieces. So the most outer pieces of our little um, multiplication here is an x on the outside, a 3 on the outside. x times 3 is 3x's. I stands for inside, the inside pieces. 2 times x is 2x. And now... L stands for the lasts, so the last pieces of the bracket, 2 times 3 is 6. Okay. Another way this may be called, if you're following your textbook, 
would be this, the distributed method. And the distributed method is just, it's FOIL. It's the same thing, but it's um, a different way to keep everything in an order. So the distributed method, if we write this out, means when we're multiplying brackets, every part of the first bracket has to multiply every part of the second bracket. FOIL takes care of that. Or we could look at it this way. The x in front multiplies the first part of the second one. And this x must also multiply the second one. And now the first part of the bracket has multiplied everything in the other bracket. Now this 2 needs to multiply everything in the other bracket. 2 times x is 2x. Two, 2 times 3 is 6. And the one thing I haven't done yet to finish here is I need to collect my like terms. I have some similar x's and some similar x's. So either if you're using FOIL, if you want to use the mnemonic device, or um, if you're using distributed property, either way, it's an x squared. A 3x plus a 2x is 5x's. And plus 6. Okay. Now let's look at a second example here. m plus 2 times m minus 7, two binomials, let's multiply them. Using the box method we have an m and a 2, or an m and a minus 7. So this box is made up of an m and an m. m times m is m squared. Our next box m and negative 7. Negative 7 times m is negative 7 m's. 2 times m is 2 m's. Negative 7 times 2 is negative 14. And if you collect all your pieces, you have an m squared, you have a minus 7 m and a plus 2 m. So 2 minus 7 is minus or negative 5m minus 14. Okay. And if we're to use FOIL, first FOIL, so F. M times M, M squared. O stands for outsides. M times negative 7 is negative 7M. I in FOIL is the insides. 2 times M is 2M. FOIL, the L stands for last, the two last pieces. 2 times negative 7 is negative 14. Notice we have some like terms there. We have a few 7s. So we get m squared minus 7 plus 2 is minus 5. And sorry, we have a minus 14 left over.